Of a Robin Shavadon. Did he all trust them? Goddard Mutiv Mollis, Tots of Vitok, Rimshon Tito Vosha, and Tox Rodok. Yes, Jimmy dear, I'll be home soon. I bought you your favorite too. Hey, who's there? Mom, Mom, what happened? Yes, I. Welcome, stranger. I am Marin the Hermit. I was praying to the ancient gods to send me the Chosen One to defeat the evil, but a fragile female is the last thing I expected. What you saw in the Sphere of Fire may befall these lands in the future. Recently, I felt that an evil force had come to the Forgotten Lands. I can't say what it is, though. Hopefully, we'll find the answer together. Now I must leave you for some time to pay a visit. Set off to the Lake of Life beyond the tower and find a way to cross it to the Wasteland. Take this rune. It will open a portal to the tower and allow you to travel faster. Welcome. I'm Aquamarine, leader of the mermaids in the Lake of Life. Centuries ago, our lake used to be a sea, but when the temperatures soared, the sea dried out, and nobody knows why. I'm deeply concerned with the fate of our water reservoir. If it wasn't for the source of living water at its bottom, our family of mermaids would have died out together with the Forsaken Sea. This is why I forbid you to collect even a drop of living water. If that's what you were intending, of course. But if you simply want to cross the lake to the wasteland, you can use the dolmen over there. Finally, you've returned. I met one of my trusted associates today. He said he saw a horseman of fire in the wasteland. I suspect he's there looking for an artifact of utmost importance, the compass of the worlds. We mustn't let the evil get hold of it, for it will penetrate into other worlds 
which are far worse than ours, and let in evil from other realms to ours. Please find the compass before the horsemen. I hid it in Rocky Town beyond the Forsaken Sea. There, in the Temple of the Ancestors, you'll find the compass. Take one of the keys to the cache with the artifact. Be careful. Don't let it fall into the hands of the Horsemen of Fire. Blessed be the ancestors, you're alive! Is that compass intact? What? You dropped it while falling? Damn it! Fire must have found it. We need to find a way to return to the surface and find Madden quickly. You'll know what to do next. Oh, yes. You're probably wondering who I am. Well, my name's Faulner. Madden, my old friend, sent me to you. I've been living in these tunnels for a long time, and I know all the passages, so no worries. We'll find a way out. Beyond that tunnel is my refuge. Let's go and search for something useful, okay? Hold on tight! Look, I've got an idea. I know a mount god that lives nearby. Although I haven't met him in person, I heard he is very wise and might help us. Let's find his temple. Look, I know this book of legends. I remember it from my childhood. One legend tells about Mount God, a mountain god. Once a stranger came to him. This man held an artifact of incredible beauty and power. Mount Gore wished to have this artifact and imbued the stranger with his wisdom in return. I think we need this artifact. Mortals, you dared to enter Mount Gore's temple? Say no word. I know what you came for. You struggle against the forces of evil. Halflings, dwarves, and other creatures' well-being does not concern me. But if I don't help you, evil may overtake my home too. So, I shall help you. But first, bring me what the giants are protecting so diligently. Create a false compass, an illusory one. The horseman will sense it and want to possess it. <laughs> Start to fight among themselves, and then 
Ice and flame will destroy each other. of light. I grant you an apple from my tree of life. It may come in handy at a difficult moment. Is that you? I see you've already met. While you were away, I learned about two other horsemen. Scared halflings ran to me saying they saw a horseman by the name of Death in the swamps. I know nothing of the whereabouts of the second horseman though. So, you brought the compass, right? What? You lost it? Oh, gods! What shall we do? What's this? You retrieved heat and chills hearts? Hmm, that's interesting. I'll take these stones and try to inquire about their essence. In the meantime, you set out to the swamps and examine Death's lair. He may have the compass. If he does, take it away from him at all costs. What? Oh no, who are you? Why did you come here? Get out while you can. No, I'm not a prisoner. I locked myself in. <laughs> Persistent type you are. All right, I'll explain. Name's Falcon. I lock myself in the cage each full moon, simply because I'm a werewolf. And today is a full moon, and I ran out of my turning potion. It helps me stay in my usual form, even during the full moon. If you need my help, help me first. Brew me another potion, would you? The recipe's on the table. Ah, oh, that's better. Thanks. I'll stay in the cage just in case. Now your turn. Tell me what you want of me. You want to cross the swamps, but why? Do you even realize what danger awaits there? At the edge of the swamps stands Horseman Death's Castle. No living thing can survive in its vicinity. But if you're ready to meet him, I'll help you. You need my magic lantern to not drown in the swamp. If you light it correctly, it'll show you a safe path. The lantern's in the attic. Take this key. You'll also find the lantern manual there. Again. Oh, I see you got yourself a trusty bodyguard. Oh dear, why didn't you tell me about your mission from the start? I'd have helped you right away. I'm glad you survived the fire's assault, and I'm happy he's gone. It was him who made the sea boil away. So, now you're looking for a way to defeat death, right? This can only be done, only with the use of living water. I shall allow you to take some, but you won't be able to get close to death to spill the water on him. You'll need a weapon to do this. A bow, for instance. Oh, I know that forest hunters of the Dark Woods are legendary archers. You'll need a rune, should you decide to go there. I've heard of a rune hidden behind the magic mirror in the tower.
Strangers, how did you get here? That's Centaur territory. I'm Zaruk, Master Weaponsmith of this tribe. It's not the best time for guests right now. We're at war with the Forest Hunters. They acted cowardly, unworthily, and arrogantly by hiding in their town when we offered them a united front against the Black Horseman Darkness. He settled in the Dark Woods. What? You also fight the Black Horseman? Good. I'll try to help you, but bring me something first. I've heard the dwarves make the strongest shields. Although I've never faced them in battle, I hope this is true. Bring me a real dwarf shield. Ha! A strong shield indeed! I'll help you with such a service. So, what are you looking for in the dark woods? You came to ask these Force Hunters for a bow? Those cowards? You hoped they'd make a weapon capable of killing the Death Horsemen for you? Ha <laughs> ha! The Centaurs are skillful weapon makers, as good as the Force Hunters. Bring me a boar skin and a twig from the Red Tree. This is the largest, oldest tree in our forest. It grows behind the Ansys Glade near the waterfall. Redwood is most elastic and strong. some time to make a bow and arrows. So, you'd better find the other materials and prepare a bowstring and arrowheads by yourselves. Make the bowstring from some durable spider web and cast the arrowheads from dark metal. This is a special grade of metal capable of inflicting damage even on supernatural forces. I heard that deposits of it can sometimes be found in wasteland dungeons. When you are ready, get up to our workshop and assemble the weapon. My end is near. The wound from Death's scythe is fatal. You must go on. Use the boat to cross to Death's castle. I think you hit him with the arrow. And chances are we managed to defeat him. If he has the compass, take it and bring it to Marin. Oh, wish we had a cure. Ah. Oh, thank you so much. You saved me! I feel my strength returning. I feel much better now. Let's go, quickly! That's incredible. You defeated death. But the most difficult task lies ahead. Stop darkness. We know he's found the compass of the worlds and is headed toward the stronghold. But praise the gods when I hid the compass. I enchanted it with a spell of burdening. The closer darkness gets to the portal of the universe, the heavier the compass becomes. This is why he's moving very slowly, and so we have some time to prepare. I know what to do, but there's no time for long explanations. I'll need you to do one thing. Find a large glass lens. You'll be on your own, as Faulner will stay with me. His tinkering talents will be of great use now. Take this key and head to my refuge. Unlock my workshop. There you'll find the land. One more thing. Set off to Mount Gore again and ask him for a spell capable of destroying the Black Horseman's heart. Mount Gore will ask you for a flower in return. Take one from my flower bed. Remove the flower's protective field with this spray. Once you have everything, Meet me in the tower's central hall. You again, mortal? I know why you have returned. Good. I shall help you one more time. 
Bring me a clean sheet of paper. Place it inside a magical shell, and the spell will be granted. Wait. I know Marin asked you to find a lens. It will be more useful if you fill it with blessed light. Set off to the Antus Glade. Place the lens on the ritual table and see for yourself. Take this part. It will help you to weave the magic. <clears throat> oh. You... you came. We failed to stop darkness. He's already gone up, and is about to open the portal. We might still have a chance, though. Go to the top. There you'll find a device we created against darkness. Insert the lens into it, and when darkness activates the compass, read the spell. <laughs> Then immediately jump into the portal. It will take you back home. If you stall, you'll die together with darkness. Suzanne, it was an honor to meet you. Our ascendants will compose legends about you throughout the Lost Lands. Do not worry about us. Thank you. Goodbye. Sahar Lord Rasabin.